Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Ghost Monologue. You guys know me, I am your host. I got bad news for you guys here today and I wanted to put it in instead of an intro moment uh, because there's a lot of stuff going on today. Uh, I'm thinking episode 10's intro, intro moment will be explaining everything that happens in this episode because unfortunately in this episode I have a guest on so check that out in the first little bit but about five minutes in it starts lagging a little bit and we make a cut and try to fix it and I thought I had but I hadn't so it's a little bit frame skippy but the audio is fine so if you want to listen to it that's what I do with most of my YouTube videos it's perfectly good for that but again we'll be back on Thursday with a regular episode it looks just fine computer did not overload I don't know what happened exactly with this one and uh, we'll have a recap there so we'll see you then if uh, you don't want to watch today's episode but thank you guys for coming by hope you still drop a like hope you uh, comment let me know what you thought about it and I'll see you in the next one What's going on guys and welcome back to episode 9 of the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Ghost Monolock Challenge. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday and today we are joined by a guest. Do you want to say hello? Hey, what's up? How's it going? There he Zach. is. You guys have met Zach. You know him from the streams. He's hanging out in the Discord call on an iPhone so we apologize for any extra noise you're getting like that noise right there. <laughs> I can just like I'm not moving anymore, I, okay. I can imagine you just adjusting around. <laughs> anyway, so guys, we are here on Route Four. We are going to be having a very standard episode today. I looked up the uh, the levels for the Lana trial that we're kind of heading towards, and they're basically like all around our lower levels. Well, we're kind of all hovering around level twenty. So uh, Zach, for you, real quick, I guess we'll go over it since you can't he can't see super good on his phone. We've got a uh, Drifloom at level twenty one. I think it evolves at level twenty two, maybe. Uh, Phantom at level 20 and then uh, Spiritomb at level 19 so they're looking pretty good we checked route 4 couldn't really find an encounter here but for that reason I don't really see there being any need to go through the grass a whole lot we do have to fight this chef guy right here and then we're coming up on the ranch we're going to be able to check the ranch and route 4 the rest of route 4 and the, uh, the Brooklet Hill today for encounters I don't know if we're going to get into the trial itself so uh, that, that's what we're rocking out with Anyway, what are you up to today? How's, how's your day going? Out yourself. Where do you live? What do you do? Let's let's introduce the people to the mods. It's the Mod Squad episode. Hello? Zach? Zach? Hello? Guys, we lost him. He's not here. Well, anyway, guys, we're fighting a Volcarona, so that's always exciting. You know how that goes. It is going to be part bug type, so I think Gus should do okay. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's bug fire, not bug flying. So that's a pretty decent move set for us. I am not sure what happened to our dear friend, but that's okay. Like I said, we're going up through Route 4. It should be a good time. Everything should go pretty well. Uh, levels are okay. Hopefully we got some good stuff coming up. I'd like to see the, the team grow a little bit more on this island since there are three trials and a kahuna. It might take a little while. But I am kind of focusing on first mate here so we can get first mate up to that evolution. I think the evolution would be really awesome for us stat-wise. We do have a lot of very baby-like Pokemon. We have one Pokemon that doesn't even evolve. And then we'll kind of switch gears depending on, you know, how the team works. Here we are in Panolia Town. I believe, uh, Panolia, I think it's Paniola Town. Uh, I think we have to fight Hop right here. Yes, we definitely do. So rival battle right off the bat. I am going to take a quick thing. I'm gonna type a quick message, see if he wants to say something to me. Tell me what's going on with him. Alrighty. How is here? I love how it doesn't change who How looks like, so he's not like weird or anything. Here we go, Maractus. That's an easy mashup for us. We should have no problem taking down a Maractus. Shout out to the Maractus challenge run. Here we go. Maractus. Did that say Electro Ball? Why does it have Electro Ball? Hey, you're back. Hello. I'm uh, back. No cuts. Leave it in. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't cut it at all. I kept going. Uh, Zach's Discord call. Let him go. Oh, my God. We almost lost first mate. He almost went down, but he oh takes him God. out. For some reason, this stupid Maractus has Electro Ball. 
but wow. I, I knew I outsped, so I was just going to go for it and hope for no crits. Okay, so I know what the problem is, and it won't happen again. Then okay. I'll leave it at that. Awesome. <laughs> well, he's... Oh, um, my God. Can you read that on your phone? Yes. That yeah, says that says Zernius. Is he underleveled? If not... Uh, he's lower level than us, but he's almost dead. So I'm going to Spiritomb, because Spiritomb's going to be pretty okay in levels, and he's got Hypnosis. So, hoping that works out for us. Oh, my gosh. The GPU is so high. I'm hoping we're not dropping frames in the recording. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Yo, is that a shiny Xerneas? That thing's shiny. Xerneas, -uh. is, Xerneas is not light blue like that. Xerneas is dark blue. I'm looking up a shiny. I, I feel like it's shiny. Okay, he's level 17. Should I go for Hypnosis or Confuse Ray first? Any ideas? Well, hypnosis is super inaccurate, so probably confuse ray. Maybe yeah, the confuse ray. Oh, he's going. He used. He went for aqua jet. So that that's a really easy. It did like eight damage. Yeah, that that's good Whoa. for us. That is. That's totally shiny. It's totally shiny. <laughs> okay, so I have. I do have slightly Whoa. boosted shiny odds in this series. I'm not just rocking out like this. Just for your opponent, not you though. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it's like all Pokemon I encounter have slightly no, boosted I know. shiny I'm odds. Just, I'm just saying. Here we go. <laughs> Fan attack. Oh, Xerneas woke up super fast. That's fine. We got plenty of healing items. He's not doing anything to us. I'm fine with this chip away damage mess. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to the shadow sneak. And uh, are you moving a lot again? <laughs> no. Interesting. Anyway, okay, we're going for the shadow sneak. I did not think about the fact that this rival battle was here. <laughs> I'm not going to oh lie. God. Uh, oh, rip. Did he just crit? I didn't even notice oh he died. My God. I didn't even notice he died. Wait. Okay. I'm, I'm writing this is that a down. Log, right? Like he's yes, gone. he's gone. <laughs> Did I just like not pay attention to that? <laughs> yeah. I I I didn't even. Did he crit me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, if he crit me, I mean, you know, there's only so much I can do about that. Crap, man. Okay, I'm gonna get the ingrain set up. Get the extra health going. That was dumb. <laughs> Was good too. He was good. I just went. I came in, and one of your only deaths has happened. I so was focused I probably on the leave. terrible sound in my ears. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. At least it wasn't Drifloom. I'm really glad you got Drifloom. Actually, I like him He's a lot. He's one of my favorite ghosts, Whoa. and like nobody ever uses him. Disarming really voice does a lot of damage. Holy cow. Yeah. He just all of a sudden he probably ran out of aqua jets. Yeah, because uh -huh. he's just going for a disarming voice now. I think I, I gotta keep hitting him, but I'm gonna go for another confuse ray. Hopefully he'll hit himself and I can hope for a break. Oh, he went for aqua jet too. That's perfect. Perfect move for us to go for a move on. I can't believe he's a shiny Xerneas. That's wild. <laughs> I should probably take this turn to heal first mate too, because first mate's also gonna be helpful in this fight. Yeah. And what are what are huh. the uh, boosted odds? Uh, I don't know. I think I have mine set at like a 7% chance to find a shiny or something like that. So not like... I mean, way better than normal, but not super broken, right? Yeah. Uh, so... That's still pretty crazy. Yeah, with that, with that in mind, I'm not really using... I mean, if it's a ghost monologue, right? So I'd have to find a shiny ghost type for it to really matter. Yeah. So I feel like it's not really helping me encounter-wise. It just kind of is a fun thing. Like, let's see some shinies, you know? Oh my god. Yeah. Really, <laughs> I'm, I'm very thankful that you're here so that I can't speed up since I already screwed up. <laughs> is that how you always die? What is this rival's name? How? Again? How is Gen 7, Hop is Gen 8. Gotcha. Oh, that's wild. That is so well. wild. Okay, that was some kind of battle. It definitely was. Rip, <laughs> rip Spirit Zoom, for real. Oh boy. Was that your most recent one you caught? That yes, and that might be I think that's my only death. I don't think I've lost anything yet. <laughs> awesome. That's fine. That's fine. All right. With this, we're going to take a uh, a quick cut. Uh, I need to check something with the computer and we'll be right back and uh we'll we'll uh, be mourning the death of Spiritomb in the meantime. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're back still here in Paniola Town. I'm going to do my best not to Whoa, that was a weird camera change. Did you see that? <laughs> Yeah. It just like <laughs> very quickly jumps up. 
All right, let's run over here to the Pokemon Center. We'll get rid of our dead Pokemon. We do have at least two encounter chances right after this, so hopefully we'll be able to to get some Pokemon. I, I'm thinking, like, you have, statistically, right, you have a pretty good chance of getting a full team, or at least, like, a, you know, a chance to get a full team's worth of Pokemon. You have to keep them alive, obviously, but... Yeah. Uh, you heal Spiritomb. I should take the, uh... Do what? You heal them. Yeah, I healed him, but he's going away. <laughs> Move. Uh, we'll go ahead and put him in the last box. It's weird that you only get eight boxes in this game. Or it might be like Gen 8 where you uh, you get... Oh, nope. Damn. Freaking GPUs back up to 100% for some reason. Breaking that. Breaking that wall. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess we're just going to play like this for the episode. All right. Well, so, if your computer doesn't explode, then... Well, it's not that. I'm worried about the frame rate dropping in the recording. Mm. Um, I like this town, by the way. I played through this game once, but I don't. Yeah, you played through my little, copy, remember? This little country western town. Yeah. I bought right. it and played it all in like a week, and then you were like, "I won't play," and I was like, "Okay." And now here we are. Uh, Pokemon Home just came out, and I can't transfer any of my Gen 8 Pokemon because I erased it all. <laughs> oh. Uh, rip. Or Gen 7 Pokemon to Gen 8. That's what I meant to say. I could transfer you. Uh, you used Rowlet, right? Is that the one you chose? Yeah. I yeah. could transfer your Decidueye and Shiny Hunt Rowlet. That would be fun. I can't even remember. Original what trainer it. Zach. <laughs> In my nice. Yeah. Look, it's Mallow. It might have a dirty name. You might not be able to do that. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to put it in the daycare right away. It's not like anybody's going to know. <laughs> so this is Paniola Ranch. I think we can get an encounter here. Pretty sure. There's a couple of mill tanks here, so that's a nice... Oh, Stoutland! Okay, cool. That means I think we can go back to the uh, the town and we could potentially get the beach encounter now as well. And she's telling us to go to Brooklyn Hill. So we just unlocked several encounter areas. And I think that's kind of how we're going to focus. Um, I think we went for about eight minutes the first time, so we still have a good amount of time. We ought to be able to run through a lot of these and then let next episode kind of be the trial episode, you know? Yeah. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to run over here. Because there is a Pokeball. It's just an ether. That'll be good for later, though. That'll that'll be definitely good for later. I always feel weird, like, looking at the game when I have somebody in call. <laughs> because I'm like, uh, who do I look at? And our encounter, encounter is... That's a Darmanitan. Uh, uh, that's Psychic Fire, right? Zen Mode Darmanitan? Do you know from Gen 5? Definitely not Ghost. Yeah. All right, so we'll... Oh, wrong button. All right, so we'll get out of here. Oh, by the way, First Mate did not evolve at level 22, so I... I think maybe level 26. Do you know when Drifloon evolves? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. You want to you wanna be my Poke, Pokedex now for me? Oh, well, you got your phone. Okay. No, I That's can. our encounter. Wow. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, do you think we can catch this? What balls do you got? Oh, God. I lost my hypnosis Pokemon. No. Wow. No. He's the, see, the worst part about using Ghost specifically for the, mo for the monologue challenge, right? Is that his other ghosts are super effective? Yes, on they're you. every Pokemon I'm trying to catch super effective on me. So what I'm doing right yeah. now is I'm maximizing my evasiveness so that I can stay in the longest. I don't think I and have he's like ten levels under, that's good. Yeah, but I don't think I can hit him because of that. I definitely can't hit him with Do you first only mate. Have ghost moves? No, but like first mate is flying type, which is also super effective. Um so I have I have Dark, which is super effective. I have Payback, Ominous Wind, and Gust, all of which are super effective on him. And then Mascot has got Faint Attack, Astonish, Confuse. I can Confuse Rayam. That's like my only hope. But then that doesn't help me with the uh, with the the rates, you know. Mm. Ugh. If only I had Leech Seed instead of Ingrain. What do you think? He's lowering my attack. Should I just let him do that for? A Excuse me for a little while. Oh, yeah, he, he missed though. Oh my god, I have aftermath. I didn't even know that. <laughs> First mate's ability is aftermath, so if he ever faints, he's gonna hurt them. Uh, should I throw a ball now? Let's let's check our ball situation. Yeah, what do you got? We got uh, fifteen uh, pokeballs. We got at one heal ball, one net ball one nest ball and then mm. two great balls. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh god. <laughs> uh, 
I should add more great balls. I'm gonna throw. Have I'm gonna throw one yet. pokeball. I do. I think I. I think I just got them. This is gonna be tough since he's a starter. But I don't know if it randomizes the catch rates for them in the randomizer or not. Quincy, stop. Sorry guys, my dog's in the room back here. I don't know if you guys can see him, uh, but he's got an injury and he's not wearing a cone and he keeps trying to lick the injury. Good dog. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, it's the very it's a very human episode of the Sun Ghost monologue. Discord problems. My dog is sniffing my computer. I'm a little worried about him. He's just sitting under my desk now with all my wires. Good dog. Is Gust physical. Um, let's see. He has to land growls. It's special, so it doesn't even matter. Oh. I feel okay. So so these two are stabs. So this is sixty. 60 special, 80 special, and uh, that was, 50 no, physical. 60 as well, right? Do what? Ominous Wind is 80? It's Stab. I'm, I'm going over Stab. Oh, okay, So okay. with Stab, Gust is 60, Ominous Wind is 90? Right? It's one and a half? Yeah, so yep. 60, 90, and then 50 physical, which I think is good. We're doing a lot of analysis here. <laughs> Well, okay, let's go to my summary. Uh, catch it. A special attack is 35, attack is 28. So physical is better if he doesn't hit me. See, the problem is, is they're all super effective, which is also, I think, is it is it two times in this generation? So that's a yeah. hundred power move from 10 levels above. I think we have to go confuse Ray it. Confuse, yeah. All right, mascot, you're coming out. By the way, what do you think? Wait, do you does think ingrained? Grain Ingrain only like heals permanent? me. Yeah, it's it's permanent. Okay. What bad. is uh what is your he used leafage, so that's good for us. He's got a good move set too, I like it. Uh I'm gonna ingrain first, get the health on us. It doesn't look like he has a good move to attack us. Because it's not like he's sitting here using thousand arrows on us. He'd probably one shot. Stupid powerful ghost type move. Alright, confuse Ram. Here we go. He outspeeds it. Dude, we're nine levels above, and this thing outspeeds us. It's dope. He is confused. That doesn't help with catch rates. Uh, we also have Astonish here, which is a 30 ghost type move, which is a better move to try to hit him with, probably. Let's look at Mascot's stats. If you're going to do it, you should try it. Oh, now. Mascot's physical is way higher. Oh. 37. Special attack is 29. Uh. What's faint attack? Faint attack is 60, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's also super effective. <laughs> yeah. I don't have. I have nothing that's not super effective on ghost types. <laughs> this is this was an oversight on my part for catching Pokemon. <laughs> I need yeah, Spirit unless, Tomb back. <laughs> what did Spirit Tomb have? He just had Besides, hypnosis, which yeah. I mean, I didn't have. I still didn't have anything to hit them. What do you think? Should I go for an astonish? We've yeah, been on sure. this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going for it. He's fully evolved. Like, hopefully, right? Hopefully. Oh, he used Astonish. Oh, that, that was a hit right there. Okay, we did half. Okay. We can't hit him again. You can confuse him. I think he's already confused. Oh. Uh, so well, I'm, now you just wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to keep him confused. Let him try to hit himself, like, once, maybe. And just, you know, chuck a ball every couple of turns. And he snaps out of his confusion, of course. Okay, this episode is Zack and Decidueye. <laughs> That's it. That's all we're doing this episode. You can make a cut halfway through this battle and it won't matter. Well, normally I would speed up, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I literally can't. We just drop Zack from the call. And let, him, let him figure it out with the rest of the people. That'd be so mean. Might as well. Should I, I think I should still just... I'm going to heal ball. I'm going to randomly toss a heal ball and see what happens. Are those better than Pokeballs? I don't think so. I think they're Pokeballs. I think they're a Pokeball with heal. Dude, yeah. it's not even shaking. He's so oh. good. And he's, he hasn't hit himself once. Ugh. This is rough. This is rough. I'm gonna just waste a confusion on him. No, not... I'm sitting here, like, clicking with my mouse like I need to. Oh, we got so lucky. Oh, he's got Peck. He's got Peck. He's got two super effective moves on us. Luckily, uh, we got lucky with choosing to go for Confuse Ray that turn. Because he uh, he didn't... He's, he broke out of confusion. I'm struggling with my words. I'm struggling with my words. This you gotta is get this. horrible. This is bad, 
but this is such a good nuts. Pokemon. It's what so are the good. odds of him never hitting himself? <laughs> I, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> if only there was a way to heal him. If he had a healing... Oh, he hit himself, finally. Cool. Literally, getting him in the red would be huge for catching him. Like, yeah, absolutely huge. Because <sighs> I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure the way it actually works, regard contrary to popular opinion, is that your damage only matters based on the color. So like, even if he's low or yellow, it doesn't matter. Oh, he hit himself oh, again. Really? <gasps> okay, the problem now is if Great he hits balls. himself again, I think he dies. <laughs> well, now you just gotta toss great balls. and hope he breaks out of confusion, and then I won't confuse him again. Here we go. Where's Game Boy Luke when we need him to tell us the odds? That's two shakes. It triple jiggled. Oh. We got yeah. him! Woo! <laughs> he is the best I... Pokemon. We possibly... Oh my god, we have another grass ghost type. Well, who cares? This one's way better than your little Trezen... Whatever. Trevenant? He's my mascot, you Trevenant. douche. Decidue. I, honestly... I don't no, even know how to pronounce... I don't even know how to put that. his name. You didn't expect me to catch him? No. He's so good. I just have to keep him alive. I have to keep him alive. Would it be illegal if I caught... Yes, it would. If I happen to get two Pokemon that can breed together, would it be illegal for me to breed them and get more ghost yeah. tires? <laughs> what should I name him? I feel like I should name him after you because he's from your game. <laughs> mm, I don't even remember what oh I named him. Oh my god, that's crazy. Should I name him after Quincy because Quincy's in this recording? Name him uh, after Lil Wayne. Because he okay, just dropped an album. <laughs> Wheezy. No, I'm naming him Wayne. Aww. Only because I had already started. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Wayne is in the party. That is hype, my dudes. Yes. That was sick. <laughs> so stupid. What if we get another encounter on Brooklet Hill and it's like amazing? Oh, we got in a battle. <laughs> okay, let's get in this battle. And uh, then I think that'll have to wrap up the episode. I think we're at about that time. And if you want to hang out for the next one, I'm going to record another one or two after this. So it's up to you. Okay. We'll see. Find out in the next episode <laughs> if I don't kill anything and Zach stays in, the, uh, stays in the episode. Oh, boy. Mold Breaker. This is, see, this is the problem is whenever something good happens. Oh, God, he's Brock type. I need to get out of here. Level 15. Rampardos is sick. By the way, oh my god! Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. What did he use? Did he use Pursuit? Did he just Pursuit me? That's the only move that does that, right? He just Pursuited me. I'm sorry, I can't. And now he Focus Energied. He Focus Energy. And then I was good luck, but now... Oh I my god, he's oh got pursuit! God. He's got freaking pursuit! If he crits, I'm dead! Oh god. This is bad. We might lose. <laughs> Find out next episode if we even survived. Are you oh actually ending god. here? No, I'm not gonna end here. But I mean, like, at this point, let me tell you, at a channel my size, this guy's probably. Nobody's probably watching at this point. So they're gonna come back next episode and they're gonna be like, okay, number one, when'd you get a Decidueye? And if there is no next episode, they're going to be like, okay, what happened? <laughs> okay, he snapped out of confusion, and he got a crit pursuit. Oh, That's it. We're wiping. You got to sit you I'm pissed. That's my mascot. Mascot claws? <laughs> mascot claws? No. Oh, my God. It has to mean more. It has to hurt. Dude, we're losing. I'm at eight yeah, health. No. I'm literally, I'm not starting this over, which means this, this is, this might be the end of this. It doesn't matter if he crits, I die. He did that in I one know. hit. I'm just wondering how long you could last if he doesn't like, crit. Not very long, because I need super potions, and I've only got seven more, and he just hit me with Leer. Should I? I'm going for Minimize. Minimize, yeah, you have to. You just have to keep Minimizing. And I'm going to go for Minimize you. and then Payback, and hope he hits me and I can kill him with Payback. No, you Luckily, don't. we outspeed. You because he's going to crit. <laughs> oh, my God. Luckily, we're out speeding. Should I go for Stab Ominous Wind or should I go for Payback? What do you think? Ominous Wind because they're both. Ominous Wind has strong. a chance for a stat drop, I think. 
I think Ooh, I think I nice. I think I should have stayed in with first mate, but I was an idiot. Aww. I didn't think he was gonna have pursuit. I did not think about that. All I thought was flying type against a rock type, right? And so I switched. Yay. We we live. I'm pissed, dude. I'm pissed. <laughs> I started this episode with three, went to two, no, got back to good. three, and now I'm back at two. <laughs> It's so eventful. You uh, traded in a grass ghost to an upgraded grass ghost. But I wanted him on here for the whole series. <laughs> He's my mascot. Uh, it has to be painful. That's the point. That sucks. That sucks. Just be happy. I thought you. I thought it was over. I also thought it was I thought over. I was, was like, over, so. I thought it was funny because I was like, my plan when I started the series was for the Maractus thing and this to go until PAX, which is next Thursday. So I was like, oh, it's going to be perfect, right? <laughs> And, uh, oh, yeah. and then I was like, well, where that would have been about a week early, but where am I staying? Yeah. I am staying with just like a random, like old lady who rents out her guest bedroom. <laughs> Cause it was, <laughs> I no, I asked everybody I knew if they wanted to share a room and they were like, it's too early. And I was like, I don't want to wait because I need to budget the money and I'm scared of not having a place. And also yeah. all these people are like figuring it out right now. And they're paying for like the same size room I have. And they're sharing with a bunch of people, which is nice, but they're like, their one room is costing them like double what I'm paying and I'm like yeah I'm like a 10 minute walk in downtown Boston at like $75 a night like it's awesome wow it's stupid cheap okay guys uh, thank you for watching rip to our fallen comrades <laughs> uh, we'll catch you guys back here in the next one peace bye